All right, I'm back again. This video is gonna be all about how I wired my Reefkeeper Elite system. So let's start here at the front. I've got my head unit here. Um, like I said before, I've got the hole drilled in the back. So I'm gonna to go to the back of the tank now, show you how it's all done. All right, real quick, one of the things that I added back here that's really useful is this light here. You can see it turns on when you open the door, turns off when you close it. You can just pick this thing up at Home Depot, but it's pretty helpful when you're working back here because it's dark. All right, so onto the system. Here, this is the wire that comes from my head unit through the back of the cabinet. Runs up the side here, goes up and goes over my SL1 and my MLC. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but that's what it does. It goes over, comes down, and connects to this PC4 here. All right, then it runs up and comes back all the way over to this farthest PC4. All right, comes down the side here, and as you can see, connects here to the bus ports. Now, keep in mind, everywhere there's a connection into one of these, I put drip loops, and that's something that I've heard from everybody. That's You really want to do that because there's no point in spending all this money on all the equipment and having it ruined because water drips down and gets in there. So drip loops. All right, comes out, another drip loop. Comes back up, comes across the top again, comes down, and into this PC4. And again, drip loop. Comes down from this PC4, right into the bottom one. And then from this PC4 here, it goes all the way back up to the top again. Comes over to here, down and around, and connects to my MLC, and then finally, the little cord there, to my SL1. Now, the reason I did it this way is because I wanted that last bus there to be open, and it would have been a lot easier to run this cord from the head unit straight to the SL1, but I wanted that port open. It has to be the last link in the chain because when I want to plug my computer into the system, all I got to do is open this door and I can plug it right in and work on it from right there. The reason I did that is because the cord that comes to plug from your computer into the system is really pretty short. So that's basically, I didn't want to have to stretch my whole cord back behind here to a PC4 and then be working on my computer over the sump, which would have been stupid. So that's the way I did it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Okay, one last thing for the Reefkeeper Elite wiring here is that all I used for the whole thing is just this gun that I got from uh, Home Depot. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a wire running gun. But it basically shoots these little, these little U things out and it's got a plastic coating. So it makes it pretty easy. And then also zips. Zips are awesome. You can use them for anything. Um, what I use them a lot for is like where I wanted the cord to be tight, like up here on the top, is uh, you just pull the cord tight into it and then zip the cord onto the U. So it worked out pretty well. All right, that's it.